Hey, what is going on YouTube? AA Ron here. We are back, and this time we have a special guest. I don't know if you can see him on screen there, World of Warships Legends meme. I will link his channel down below. He's a good guy that uh, does a lot of good of the meme videos and just different style of, of editing. Um, and we actually met in-game, and our first game was To Be Desired, but uh, we were trying to meme around here, and I don't know if you guys can tell, but the Charles Martel has a new little attachment on it. And uh, I think I throw it up on the screen around here soon. That is the reload booster. Uh, so like I said, Mr. Memes and I were trying to get some memes, um, you know, just using that reload booster. But this actually turned into a great game and a very teachable game. Uh, not the absolute most damage, but still uh, a good damage total here um, for, uh, for a video. So if you guys notice on the mini map, we spawned at B in the middle here and had two other cruisers. Um, we were the only two cruisers in the game. Uh, there were two battleships and a destroyer on each side. So we decided to split up and provide support for, for each of the opposing flanks. As you can see, there's a C cap and an A cap there. Um, and this is honestly a moment I really should have used the reload booster. Uh, we catch this hipper here. Now you notice we're kind of angling out. We're not sure what other battleships are here. And with the, the Charles Martel, especially and how squishy the armor can be, you don't want to push in too aggressively. Um, but I kind of, I think that the Prince Eugen here slowed down and um, we we sailed that first shot. But if you notice on the second shot here, and like I said, I should have used the reload booster, we absolutely drill his broadside for 15K and two citadels with, with while knocking his engine. Um, the Prince does eventually w wise up here. <laughs> so we're not going to get the, uh, the juicy broadside anymore, but we go ahead and switch to the HE. And like I said, this would have been an appropriate time for that reload booster, but I was really trying to save it for like a meme worthy moment so we could put it in uh, Mr. Mr. Memes video. Um, now I do think I throw up the commander on screen here relatively soon. We are running Andre Lemon um, at, with a little bit of a mixed build. Um, you'll notice we have speed and a little bit of agility, but we also still have uh, the range and, and fire chance. Um, which I, I think is really necessary. I don't really like specking too much into DPM for cruisers that can benefit from rudder and agility. Um, now, you guys have heard me say this before, and I'll say it again. Playing any cruiser, especially a, a, a cruiser like this from the back line, it does not benefit your team at all. Now, positioning correctly in this cruiser is essential to, to really doing well. So you notice we're kind of feeling out our side, and it, it takes, you know, about this time I'm telling um, Legends, and he's telling me that, um, they have got the weak side as two of our teammates go down in two minutes there. <laughs> so um, we know this one's going to be a carry. And so what I'm thinking right now is, okay, I got to dominate my side. I have a battleship that's kind of pushing in. I have a uh, destroyer that's in the cap. So we're going to go support them. In the meantime, though, this King George uh, put out a single fire. So uh, we went ahead and we're going to uh, try and set him on a permanent fire. Um, but the Prince Eugen pops back up and we can see a smoke screen was set. Um, by the low yang. Now, what you do lose from not having that reload booster is your hydro. You will have to switch that out in the the, uh, the little options there at the front of the screen. But because of that, you, you will lose a little bit of your uh, versatility as a cruiser, which is honestly the cruiser's most important job is versatility. Now that we know that Charles does not have radar, but it, it can... It can influence the game by drawing out the, the damage from other ships, preventing that, you know, kiting out, using your speed and your agility, and also getting into spaces rather quickly as, quickly as well as we do in this situation. Now, I'm not sure why an Akazuki is rushing the Loyang. We know the Loyang has, has a Hydro, but the Akazuki does get him spotted, so we want to make sure we take him out as soon as possible. We got the, uh, the, the Oigen out of there, or our, our teammate did rather, but... Because of that, we do lose a destroyer, and I'm not sure why destroyer players... Destroyer players, you need to be the most cautious. Now, I, torping from behind an island is definitely not the play, but but rushing a destroyer or any battleship or any cruiser with, with hydro or radar is just is a silly play in a destroyer. Um, now, he ends up, you know, helping us get this low yang. I, I, I do... Yeah, I think we, we got him there, or the, the Vanguard got him, but... We got the destroyer as a result, and now we're looking at the mini map. We can see one, two, three, four spotted at D there, and five. Uh, five of the six ships are now all on that westernly side there. And as you can see, Legends is actually kiting, which is what you want to do in this situation. Rushing into six ships, while that may seem very manly uh, to a lot of people, is just a silly way to get yourself sent back to port. I'm not saying run to the back of the map forever, but it, 
forever. But in certain situations, you need to realize that you have the weak side. And if you can kite and draw them out, if you'll, and that's exactly what uh, Legends does, we will win our side eventually and hopefully um, get those crossfires. Now, sometimes you will kite and run and, and draw the attention of six ships and your team still loses. And that to me is uh, just one of those where you're shaking your head the whole time. But regardless of that, we've got this King George to deal with. And we're not really too scared of a King George. He's got 14-inch guns there and British AP against Tier 7. I'm not exactly sure of the bow armor of the Charles, I'm going to be honest. But he's, he's shown that he's going to continue to shoot HE, and we're just going to hold him to that. So if you notice now, it is now 4 to 6 um, with with uh, that Colorado going down there. And, you know, he did the best he could, but he could have angled out a little bit better. So I was trying to tell this Vanguard, if you notice, I'm, I'm telling him to get back. I was trying to tell him to kind of hide behind this rock and I'll go spot for him. We have our speed and we have our agility and that will give the Vanguard, because he was a little bit low on health, the, op the ability to utilize island cover. Um, now, anytime you can utilize island cover with a spotter, you should. And, and with the Charles Martel being, you know, a top having a top speed of around 34, 35 here, we can definitely uh, use our speed and our agility to our advantage. Um, now, like I said, I, I, with, you saw with our build, we don't have everything specced into to, to rudder and, and speed and things like that. And I don't think you ever really need to unless you're just trying to you know fully meme and have fun there. But with positioning and knowing how to dodge, you can easily use one or two rudder modifications to, to dodge a lot of battleship shells, especially at medium range. Um, now we are detected inside our concealment here, which tells us that the destroyer is in our in our concealment, and it looks like he's coming back to torpedo us. So we need to keep that in mind. We do not have our hydro available, so I, I would go ahead and throw out some some guest torps here. There's no real reason these those would just be by pure luck, um, but if you never throw those torpedoes out, you'll never know. Um, and we actually do go unconcealed, which tells us he might be in the middle there, or he might have went around the island in front of us. Um, so we still need to be very cautious. It's, a, it's an it's an at Katsuki who actually did a pretty good job this game. I think I don't think we catch him till the very end, but he was throwing towards and and trying to get the trying to play the correct way to win. Um, but based off the direction of those torps, we can kind of see he was in the middle here. But he's also because of our concealment, I think he goes back to behind this island. I actually don't know if we ever see him towards until the end. But regardless, we have uh, we have this key insight, the key to victory. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and start shooting him and lighting him on fire um, while getting the capture point here at D. If you notice, we're taking that third capture point because we are down on points. Um, that Flander is actually has a decent position on the island. If you look at Legendary, he is at the very top of the map because two of those battleships decided to chase him. So by doing the correct thing, he took two of their battleships out of the fight. They are gaining no additional crossfires up there. They are gaining no capture points. And all they're doing is chasing a cruiser that can be hit from, from very far, or is very hard to hit, even from far away. But as you can see, the Flander got uh, the other battleship there, and it is now a four on four. Uh, we are like five seconds away from, from getting the decap. We are still down on points, so we need to be careful about you know trading ships here. But with the three caps to one, we are going to tick the points in our favor. So that is two caps for us, a moderate amount of damage for a cruiser. Like I said, this is not a super high damage game. Um, we, we, we do end up with a high caliber and uh, as, as well as memes there, as you can see him get his witherer by, like we said, doing the correct thing and kiting these battleships away from the objectives. Um, that is why I really don't like capture the base because it promotes, it can promote bad habits. Um, but basically we're fighting this key here using our maneuverability to, to avoid his salvos. Um, the Japanese do have good uh, vertical dispersion, which will, you know, can lead to some of those, those juicy you know shots on on kiting ships um but the key we're, we're closing in on the key here he's being shot by multiple ships we go ahead and pop the reload booster and we he doesn't have that much health he's on a double fire but you can just see his health evaporate here as uh, legends gets his high caliber um but i if he would have had more health this would have been a really enjoyable reload booster but like i said we kind of wasted it there we should have used it on the oigan earlier but that is an example of that reload booster the french 203 millimeter um, AP is, is disgusting, but the HE is, is almost equally as good. So, you know, if you get a broadside, use the AP, but don't, you know, feel free to, to keep HE loaded a majority of the times. So I know the battleship mains are crying over that, but if you notice, we did lose that Flander to the Atkatsuki. The Atkatsuki, like I said, played very well, um, throwing torps, remaining concealed. I actually don't know. Yeah. He was last spotted at, at, uh, at, uh, D there or A, I'm sorry. 
and has, has now worked his way all the way back tor to torping us into the middle of the map. Um, now, like I said, we kind of get a little caught maybe. I didn't want to kite out any further, um, so we're going to dodge, and there we take some juicy penetrations to the side. Um, you you do kind of want to angle. Uh, you do not have, I know, like we, we mentioned we don't know the bow, but I know it's less than 27. So all 15-inch guns are going to be overmatching you. I think it's 25. I'm not sure. Um, I probably could check real quick, but... Anyway, this, this Richelieu was low and this Vanguard was doing the right thing. Um, I also remember I, ha I had a lot more health than the Vanguard, so I was going to go in and take some of this damage and try and, try and uh, you know, not allow the, the Vanguard to die. But basically, we, we wanted to work our way in here, and if he, even if we can trade with this Richelieu, it would have been a win-win situation. Um, but our, our friendlies takedown, I think it was a recruiser. I'm not exactly sure. It was the last remaining ship there, and we actually cheese this guy with a long-range torp um, and get our high caliber. Um, now, the rest of this game is, is kind of boring. It's just us dodging torpedoes to the end here, and I'll speed it up for you guys. But, um, you know, just a smart game. We split up. We, we created the crossfire. We, we supported each side, um, and we did our jobs, basically, as well as kind of showcasing a new ship. Um, we get the cap here, and, and that is kind of the end of the game as we chase this at Katsuki. Um, like I said, he did a good job, but uh, he needed a few more teammates. Shout out to the Vanguard, who who ends up with a pretty good score, as well as World of Warships Legends. Like I said, I will I will mention him, or I will link his uh, channel down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, yeah, AA run out. Peace.